All right, so first of all, that first icon there, that is your bullets. So when, so you can fill that out and when you click that icon, it will immediately start a bullet list like so. Now you can see it's doing an automatic capitalization. And when I press enter and I start the next word, uh, usually oh, it's going to make a liar out of me. Yeah, sometimes you get the little autocorrect here that you can change it right on the spot. Anyway, I have a little bullet list here. And I'm just going to pull this over a little bit. OK, so that's a bullet list. Now, a numbered list means that uh, is this one. So there's two numbered lists. It's the first one. That's a numbered list. So if I click that and type every time I enter, it's going to bring up a new item in the number list. OK, so those are the icons, and they're found up in the paragraph group on the Home tab. So here's an example of a bullet list. Here's an example of a number list. And this is actually new. I was experimenting with this last night. We couldn't do this in 2013. But in this version, I can see that if I click, I just did a left click, that I can actually just change the color right through here. Uh, that's interesting. Could not do that before, but I'm going to undo that. So bullets can be selected. A left click allows some formatting. A right click. So if I do a right click, I then have a pop-up menu allowing you to access the, this one, adjust list indents. So you can fill that in. OK, and the next line is continue numbering. So I'm going to show a little example of that. So if I go to adjust list indent right now, I get this. It tells me that my number position is at a quarter of an inch. But I, I could change it. I could change it to whatever I want. Well, let's make it something obvious. A half an inch, and I can tell it I want the text to be way out at two inches. Why I'd want to do that, I don't know. But when I say OK, can you see that that's what happened? And I'm going to scroll to show you that there's a relationship with these markers here. So I'm going to do that one more time. When I right click on here and go to adjust list indents, these numbers are, re are shown here. Do you see a half an inch? There's one inch. So that is my number position, is this uh, indent marker. It's the first line indent marker. And my text is over here where you see the hanging line indent marker. So you can change it using this. So I'm going to change my text back to one inch here and say OK. Do you see it all move back? Now, you can also do this by eye. If I take this left indent marker, this is going to move both things. And I just made the mistake most of you make, is if I want them all to move, I need to select them all. And then if I go to the marker here, the rectangle marker, which is the left indent, it will move both. If I go to the first line indent, it will move the number or bullet position. And if I go to the hang, or sorry, the, not the left, the hanging indent, that will move the list, the items in the list, the text. 
Okay, so there's a few different ways to do that. It's, it is a little tricky. But what I want you to know what, is that if you left click on number one, you get the bullet list and you can do some formatting here. If you right click, then you're going to have access to the one that I just showed um, and some other ones. I could set the number value here and say I want my list to start at number 99 for whatever reason if I, if I needed it to. So I'm just going to cancel that. Okay, so let's go up a little bit. So what I wanted to show in this example here is that you can sort a list. And you can see this one is in alphabetical order, B, C, D. And so let's just come back here. Uh, you know, it's a better example to have these ones here. Right, obviously alligator is the first letter in alphabetical order. So if I select these, I can come up to this icon right here, which is sort, and I can click it, and then I'm going to tell it sort by the paragraphs, by the text in ascending order, which is A to Z. Descending would be Z to A. So I'll say OK, and you can see that that list just sorted for me. Okay. So if a, lo if a list is sorted in ascending order, it means the order is from A to Z, and that's true. Okay. So uh, next, um, Next here, I have a little diagram showing you that this list is, it has a different indent. And I'm going to come back here. And there's a few different ways we can do this, but I want to just show you uh, these icons here. So right here in our home tab, in the paragraph, we have these two, decrease, indent, and increase. And I can use those and just notice that all the markers on the ruler are moving, which is the equivalent of dragging this left indent marker. So they're right here. Okay, so that's another way that we can change the indent. And uh, now I want to show you, we, we have a bullet list started and we've typed a few uh, items. And right now, if I do a shift enter, what happens? Well, what happens is it forces the, the wrap. It forces the text to wrap, but without a bullet. So this is good if you wanted to make a few points about, you know, a dog. But there's big dogs and there's little dogs. Oopsie, I got another bullet because I did not do shift enter. And as soon as I do a regular enter, I am going to go back to having a bullet in front of my text. So the shift enter, it, it forces a wrap without a bullet. Okay, the define new number format. So I'm going to show that. What does it do? Let's come back here. So if I select, I'm just going to make this a little more simple. If I select these, and if I come up to the numbering list, we haven't gone to multi-level yet. If I come here, and I go to define new number format, that's going to let me change the alignment of the bullets or the numbers. but to be honest, I need a better example. I need something with more lines in it. I need something with more than 10 items. Whoops. A spelling mistake, just I'm going to ignore it. OK, so now you can see that we have more than 10 items. So therefore, 
instead of two digit digits here, like the nine in the period, now we have three. And what alignment does this look like right now? I hope it looks like a left alignment for those numbers because everything right now is left aligned. Can you see that right there? See how it's all lined up at the left? Okay, so if I select these and I go back to the numbering icon and I go to define new number format, you can see that I have an alignment command in here. And if I change this to right and say, okay, can you see the change that everything is aligned at the right side now where the period is? Okay, so uh, yeah, it changes the look of it. So again, I can go back in to find new number format and change it to center, and that's going to give you a different look. And I give you examples of this on your other table handout. Um, Okay, so that is what you can do with that define new number format. Now, there is another icon called a multi-level list icon.